Good morning, year nine, and um, welcome back to our live lesson. Um, I hope you had a really good half time, but we are going to get into this remix project. Okay, so make sure that you've logged in as normal and access the remix project here. And you click on view assignment. Again, when you view your assignment on um, when you've logged in, it will be slightly different as I'm showing you the example. Um, but for this task, we're kind of going to wrap it up as our deadline day is the 12th. So we are going to be wrapping up our compositions overall. So I'm going to open up my composition in the mixer. And again, I want to refresh myself about what I've done because it's been a couple of weeks now since I last played it. It's getting late I'm making my way over to my favorite place I gotta get my body moving Shake the stress away I wasn't looking for nobody When you look my way I said, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan so that's what I've got so far which is pretty all right um but I need to make sure that I have chords in my pre-chorus section which is this do you know what to start it because for here there is nothing so I'm gonna do what I did last time I'm gonna copy because the chords for the verse and the pre-chorus are the same so I'm gonna copy this one because remember it's two different sets of chords um, paste it and then take this one. I'm gonna copy this one. And paste Remember, it. let's turn on our metronome, that's the one that's gonna tell us if it's in time or not. So I'll bring that to 17. Let's count. If you don't one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Do you know what to start it? I just came here to party, but now we're rocking on the dance floor, acting naughty. So it sounds alright when you've got the metronome on. Let me hear it again. Do you know what you started? I just came here to party, but now we're rocking on the dance. I think because there's no drums, it sounds a little bit fast, a little bit forward. But let's see if we add drums if it sounds any different. Let's do this. So I'm gonna go to my drum kit instrument, and I'm gonna go to C, and I'm just gonna click Add C. Let's see. Did that add it? Yep. I'm gonna just drag it. Do the same thing here. Add C, extend. Okay. So now I've just extended here. I'm going to delete these two ones because I kind of want to have a more interesting drums come on in. So let's see what this sounds like now. To be honest, it actually quite sounds nice with no drums in those first two bars and then the drums come in. So I'm actually going to leave it like that. That works out. Okay, so. I want to add this ad lip sample and I want to make a copy of it because when I was listening through the first time, I kind of thought it'd be cool if the, that ad lip repeated again somewhere near the end. I don't know exactly where, I need to hear where it's going to work, but I think near the end of this part will sound nice. So let's hear it again. Hold on, let's hear it. I think the end of I think I did that a bit early. I think it's here. Let's try that. Baby, I'm gonna say your aura is incredible. If you don't That's where I want it. So I'm gonna turn on my metronome just to be sure and start that again. So that's where I want that mama say I'm mama say I'm a Marcusa. That extra piece. Try that again, hold on. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four
I kind of feel I think that works but maybe a tiny bit back it could be even here let's try that there that works okay so i'm gonna minimize that back right so so far we've got our verse that starts with just the piano and vocals there's an ad lib that comes in then the drums come in with the piano and vocals and the ad lib repeats this is for even the pre-chorus section which starts here so i'll just give that your memory do you know what to start it i just came here to party but now we're rocking on the dance floor acting naughty your hands are on my waist just let the music play we're hand in hand just to chase and now we're face to face okay so our next step now is to create some chords for our chorus okay and this is um a little bit easier well we've already done it so at this point it should be quite easy and quite quick for you to do this is why i'm going to kind of fast forward for some sections of this part um and you can refer to previous videos that i have uploaded if you need a refresher okay so adding chords for our chorus which starts here let's bring it here hey, i wanna take you away cool so it's one chorus round and it doubles up and repeats itself with some extra backing vocals okay so i'm now going to add these chords so if we go here i'm going to add a new track for it because i think it will be easier just to manage so this is going to be chords verse and this is going to be chords chorus Okay, so for this part, um, it speeds up. There are a few chords in there that we could do. The first chord that I think that we're going to do as a class is we're going to carry on on that same theme, so which is an E minor. Yeah. Then we're going to go straight to a G major, which is G, G B D, but in our case B M comma. So E minor G. And then we're going to go to A minor. Yeah. Which in our case is N comma Q. So because it's quite fast and I'm not playing on a normal keyboard, I'm going to record these in bit like bit by bit in sections. And it's just going to make my life a lot easier to do. Okay. So if we try this. So I'm going to turn on my metronome. This up and get ready to record. Now we to stay. I wanna, I wanna take you away. That's it. So I wanna one, two. So that is held for a minimum count, so which is two beats, okay? So I've got that I wanna perfect. I'm also ooh, let me move that back. I'm also gonna just split this because I want to get my next part of this ready. Okay, Sorry. so my next chord is the G. G major, B, M, and a full stop sound. Okay, let's get ready. Cool, we've got our next part in. Again, I'm going to split at the pay head because I need it to be smaller. That's what the next chord is. So we've got. Face to face, face to face, I wanna take you away. And now we need our last chord, which is our A minor. Away. Yeah? So to play the A minor, we are playing N, comma, and Q. Now, very short, but I can fix this. So I'm not gonna make it to a big deal. Again, slice up the playhead. 
and delete. Right. Next thing that we need to do, we need to now click on here, click out of instrument, click MIDI editor. We need to see our chords. Ideally, all my chords are going to start at the same point. So I'm going to highlight all of these. Start at the right point. Again, I want to do exactly what I did last time, where they start on each line. I think a little bit back could be a bit better. Oh, maybe not that back, but we'll see. Hey, yeah. So instead of bring it to the one, we're going to bring it back. So make sure you highlight each one of these. I kind of want it in between those two lines, so I'm just going to zoom in and let you clip here and zoom back out. Let's see what this sounds like now. Hey, I wanna take you away. Let's escape into the so, I'm going to keep my life really simple and not make that too hard because that was quite hard to do on Band Lab. So, I'm going to copy that first set of chords. The next copy starts at the start of 29 in my case, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to copy the second one, and I'm going to paste it, and then copy the third one, and I'm going to paste it. Again, the next set starts at 31, so we will continue copying. I'm assuming the next one is going to start naturally at 33, so I'm just going to carry on copying Oops, the original, the second, and the third. Now that should be that whole chorus the first time round. So in total, your chorus should have eight different sets of three on this little repeat thing. Okay, so this should be now that whole chorus section. Let's have a look. Now we face to face, I want to take you. Okay, so it is really, really important that, like I've said previously, that you count along with the metronome and with the song in total. Now, the reason why I'm going one, two, three, four, is I'm trying to get the pace, I'm trying to get the speed of how she's singing her vocals, and I'm trying to keep my counts even. That way I kind of know and feel that it's in time, okay? If, for instance, halfway through counting, and I'm naturally one, two, three, four, keeping that pace, and I notice that anything jerks slightly before or afterwards, that tells me that it's out of time, okay? Okay, so once you've created the chords and copied the chords for the chorus, we're gonna leave it there because we could add the drums and you are welcome to add drums if you wanna move on to that section and start adding drums to there. But I wanna make sure that you've got those parts really in time. Sometimes it can be quite tricky when you're adding a new set of chords to drag it in time on band life. So make sure you press save and then you're going to submit it for me. And once you press save and submit, I will receive it. We will have one final week um, and one final week to tweak our pro uh, projects. And they're going to finish and we're going to showcase them to each other, what we've got so far. So really well done. Uh, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to send me a message on Show My Homework and I will get back to you as soon as I'm able.